Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be planning for the week of January 27th through February 2nd and um, even though I still call these plan with me's, um, it's really more of a journaling process as most of you guys probably know if you've been watching my videos. Um, I have really just preferred to use my Erin Condren planner for more memory purposes. I think it's just more fun that way and I also don't use this planner for work anymore so there's not a whole lot that I'm actually planning ahead in my life. Um, so with that said, for this week, I'm going to be using this gorgeous kit from Paper Rose Planning. This is one of my favorite shops that I've discovered recently. And um, this particular kit is called Wonderland and it is in a hollow foil, as you can probably tell. Um, the quote box here says, hello winter. And on the second page, we have some flags, a movie marquee, some different boxes. We have an appointment and bill due box, some heart check flags, a weekend banner and deco pieces. And on this page, we have half boxes, appointment labels, a um, full heart checklist, a Monday through Sunday box, some headers, and then two habit trackers in the bottom corner. And then the last page here is also foiled. We've got the date covers, the two washi strips. We have some uh, foiled headers and then these bow quarter boxes at the bottom. So for her kits, um, this is the full kit that she offers and um, it comes with four sheets and two of them are foiled. I will be pulling in more foils, but I don't have a whole lot in hollow. So I'm just gonna be pairing this with silver foil instead. And I figure that's close enough for it to match. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I wanna go ahead and get started. As usual, I'm gonna place down my bottom washi first and then continue to build my spread. So if you'd like to see me plan with this kit, then stay tuned. I go ahead and place down my bottom washi the same way that I usually do. Um, I always first like to white out some of those lines on the planner so I can create a space between the end of the day and where the bottom washi begins. And then I go ahead and place down those two strips of washi that came in the kit. It was nice that the paper this week was thick enough so that I didn't have to white out any lines on the planner. Um, they didn't peek through, but moving to my sidebar, I did go ahead and white out that large hexagon and then I go ahead and place down the quote box in the top corner. I pulled in the fox deco from the kit because I think that fox is so adorable and I layered on top of it this January script sticker that is from our box stickers and then I continue with the rest of my sidebar. I first pulled in this glitter header that has some hollow foil on it. Um, I'm not really sure if you can see the foiling on camera but that is from Hazel sticker and then I used a habit tracker to track my working out. I then used a bow quarter box from the kit with the full box heart checklist to mark my happy moments. That foiled happy moment sticker was sent to me as a gift, so I don't quite remember which shop that's from. And then for my dinners, I put down a dinner's header with the Monday through Sunday box at the very bottom. I then move on to placing down all my date covers. I used the ones that came in this kit and then I also pulled in some silver foil date dots. I believe those are from Tagami Fox. Like I mentioned in the intro, I don't own a lot of hollow foil, so um, a lot of the foiling that I pull in this week will just be in silver. Moving to Monday, I first placed down the foiled header that came with the kit, and then I used a quarter box with this hollow foiled coffee sticker that was sent to me um, as a sampler from, I believe, You Are You Co. And I used that to mark the coffee I got on Monday morning. And then I used a crying emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, to mark that I was still feeling really sad about the passing of Kobe Bryant and his daughter um, that had happened like the day before. And um, it was just definitely a really hard week. I felt like I was just really great grieving this loss, but I wanted to add that in my planner. Um, underneath that, I used a flag sticker with a utensils icon from Hazel sticker to mark what I had for lunch. Um, I didn't do a lot on Monday, so I decided to include my lunch so that I could take up some space. Then underneath that, I decided to place down a full box. Um, when I got home that day, I did do a workout. I decided to use this deco piece from the kit to mark that workout. And then at the very end of the night, I painted my nails so that I could get a move on filming my video videos um, because you guys know I always like to try to match my nails if I can. Um, that nail polish sticker is from Lemon Paper Co. And I also use this really cute um, silver foiled bow that's from Planning Like a Pro. And I just thought that was a really cute touch to add to the nail polish icon. Moving to Tuesday, I first put down a full box at the very bottom before moving up to the top to start the day. The first thing that I put on top is that foiled glitter header from Hazel Sticker, and then I used a foiled post-it note from Hazel Sticker as well, paired with this bow paper clip that came with the kit to mark that I had to schedule something that morning. 
I then used a half box with this silver foiled meeting sticker from Hazel Sticker and a laptop sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark a meeting that I had that afternoon. And then I placed down a foiled header with a scallop and that shoe sticker is also from Hazel Sticker. I just realized I used a ton of her stickers this week um, to mark that I did a workout that day. I actually went on a run that day, which I haven't done in months. I can't even remember the last time I ran. So um, I was pretty proud of myself for doing that. In the remaining space, I just wanted to mark that I filmed that night, so I pulled in the silver foiled flag sticker that's from Artbox Stickers, and that silver foiled film script is from Randy.Plans. That was it for Tuesday. Um, now I'm just moving on to Wednesday. At the very top, I decided to put down this full box. I love that outfit. It looks so cozy and so cute. Then continuing with the day, I wanted to mark that I helped with a student who was having a major tantrum. Um, we definitely got hit and punched and things thrown at us. So I thought this like fighting mochi sticker from Mochi Kichi was so perfect to mark that. And I also paired that with a quarter box so I could write down what happened. I then pulled in this bow quarter box to mark my lunch. Again, I didn't have a whole lot going on, so I decided to mark that to take up some space. And then um, I actually had to work in a separate office on Wednesday. So um, to mark that, I used this flag sticker and that silver foil dust sticker was actually part of a sampler from Saucy Stickers Co. I then used a half box with this silver foiled bow from Hazel Sticker to mark that I went to dinner that night with some of my old coworkers, and it was really good to see them. Um, we try to get together every few months so we can still kind of catch up on what's going on. Um, but I realized I forgot to use a foiled header on that day because I was trying to use one every single day. And so I did have to shift things up a little bit so I could fit a foiled header. At the very bottom, I put down the silver foiled bow from Saucy Stickers Co. to mark that I edited my plan with me that I had filmed the previous day. Moving to Thursday, I first put down a foiled header and then I used another silver foiled flag from our box stickers paired with this little snowflake deco from the kit to mark that I had a pretty busy day at work. I did a lot of testing. I then used a quarter box with this like Harry Potter um, Maru from Paper and Milk because on that day I got to work with a kid who um, just recently got really into Harry Potter. So after we finished all our testing, I let him take a little break where he drew pictures um, while I put on some Harry Potter music and it was just really relaxing for both of us and just kind of a sweet moment I wanted to document. Um, underneath that, I put down a full box and then I placed down another glitter header from Hazel Sticker. At the very bottom, I used a half box and then I found this quarter box in my leftovers collection that I thought matched this kit pretty well. So I go ahead and pull that in because I think I was running out of quarter boxes to use. And I also pulled in this workout girl sticker from Paper Princess Plans. I don't know if her shop's open anymore, so um, I'm not sure if those are still available. But anyways, I actually switched out the full box that I used because um, I put down that workout girl and I just didn't want to like pictures of, I guess, fashion girls right next to each other. So I switched out the full box for the cabin one instead and then that night my boyfriend and I did date night and I actually found this hollow foil date night script sticker from a shop called who de lolly day I have a little sampler that came with one of my orders and I also pulled in this kissy emoji from the coffee monsters co for Friday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then moving to the top, I put down this to-do header with an appointment label, and then I pulled in this silver foiled coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark my Friday coffee. I then decided to work backwards because Friday was kind of a busy day um, where I did a lot of little things and I wanted to see what I had space to mark. So I first put down all these boxes so I could figure out my spacing. And then um, on the half box, I used another silver foiled meeting sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark some meetings that I had that day at work. I put down this foiled header and I trimmed down one of the flags from the kit so that it could fit into the space that I had left. And I used that to mark that we went to grab sushi that night, um, which is delicious. I love sushi. And then I used the movie marquee to mark that later that evening, we watched Miss Americana, which is the Taylor Swift documentary that's out on Netflix. And I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. So I just absolutely love that so much. I love watching her like songwriting process. I think it's so cool. And then after watching the documentary, I was like super inspired. So I spent the rest of the night like playing guitar and playing piano just because I was feeling really excited about music. 
I then moved to the weekend and I first placed down a full box on Saturday and then I used a foiled header on Sunday. I decided to layer the weekend banner right over that, which I don't usually do. I usually create like some kind of a banner for it, but this week I didn't have any extra like washi strips. So I just decided to place it right on top. Um, I then continue with Saturday and I first used a glitter header from Hazel Sticker and then I put down a scallop label with a silver foiled utensil from Hazel Sticker as well to mark what we had for breakfast that morning. I placed down a to-do header with a two heart checklist to mark some places that we went and we grabbed some boba that day so I used the silver foiled boba sticker from randy.plans. I pulled in my last foiled header and used a half box to mark that we played games with our friends that day. We had a board game day where we finally finished the pandemic legacy game that we had started and then we also tried out a new game which was really fun. That little gaming Maru sticker is from Paper and Milk and then at the end of the night we finished the newest season of Sex Education which is a show on Netflix that's super good and that TV icon is from Nicole Hutch Designs. On Sunday, I first placed down a quarter box with a coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I went and grabbed some coffee that morning with a friend and it was really good to see her and just kind of catch up. And then I used a foiled header from Artbox Stickers with a deco piece from the kit to mark that my boyfriend and I stopped by a bakery to pick up some things um, that we were bringing over for a Super Bowl party. At the very bottom, I wanted to mark that we watched the Super Bowl that night, um, so I found the scallop label from Panda Bird Designs that I felt matched this kit pretty well, and then above that, I used this quarter box to mark the friend's house that we went over to um, for dinner and again to watch the Super Bowl. In the remaining space, I decided to pull in the silver foiled sticky note from Hazel Sticker and the silver foiled bow from Saucy Stickers Co. to mark that I got super into Enneagrams that day. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but one of my friends got a super into it that day. So I was like taking a bunch of tests and on most of them, I scored as a nine. And when I read about it, it definitely seemed to fit my personality. So I feel like it's pretty accurate. Um, let me know if any of you guys are also nines out there or if you're like a different personality type um, that you feel like is either accurate or inaccurate I would love to hear about other people's experiences with the Enneagram test and um, anyways that is it for this week so I go ahead and move back to my sidebar um, I track all my workouts my happy moments and my dinners um, I think I forgot to continue tracking my workouts because I definitely did quite a few this week and as you can see I only marked off Monday so I'll have to go back in and fix that and now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in this kit and as always they will be included in a leftovers giveaway um, TBD and now I'm just doing a vid wiggle to show you guys the foiling in this kit. As you guys can see, some of it is hollow, so there's like a bunch of different colors, and then some of it is just silver, but I think for the most part, they go together pretty well, so I'm not too concerned about the mixing of the metals. Now I'm just doing a walkthrough to show you guys all the details in the kit. I love how sometimes the hollow foil actually looks more pink um, because it doesn't really look like that in person, but for some reason, the camera really catches like those pink tones. Um, but yeah, I think this turned out so pretty. I I'm so obsessed with Paper Rose Planning. Um, if you guys haven't checked out her shop, you definitely need to. Her quality is amazing and her kits are just so gorgeous. So yeah, I can't say enough nice things about her shop. I don't PR for her or anything. I just personally really like her products. Um, so yeah, that is it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please let me know what you think or if you have any questions or comments. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me today and for all your support. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.